Uh, this is my Harrison. It's a Harrison L5A. I have already done a tape on it, but I'm doing an update for a reason, and I will disclose the reason at the end of the tape. It's a eleven inch swing, five and a half inch center height over the bed, twenty four inches between centers. Now I have had this lathe for quite a few years. I have done a lot of work on it, done lots of tips on doing work, very successful work, but they do need to be looked after, it's a tool room lathe. Which means it's down for fine, accurate work. I bought this lathe many, many years ago at an auction. It was a uh, single phase, I took the single phase motor off, put a three phase 240 with the single phase it gave you 18 speeds, or sorry 16 speeds with the single phase it's down to 8 speeds now it's very nice movement, very free. Keep it well greased and oiled. Morse 3 tailstock. I have another tailstock, a Morse 2, which I adapted for this lathe. I have a, two tapes on it, one of them showing the, the tailstock, the other one lining it up. Screw cutting. Now, when I bought it, I got with it, I got a nine inch four jaw chip. I got a six inch three jaw face plate. With it. Now that's the other tail stock. I made a fixed steady for it. I made this, it was just one round. I had to cut it, hinge it, get the that is in it and make this part for the ways. Now, this, and I bought a 
five inch three jaw. I have the two sets of jaws with them. But I keep the female jaws on this one and the male jaws on the six inch, which means just changing the chucks over. Any larger work, I would do it on the four jaw. I have a tip on my website making this fixed steady, working it, it works quite well. Three useful shells. Let you know where the gear is when you need it. Only for the work I have a lot of surplus material stored in the back. Six inch chuck. These two levers gives me the eight speeds. This is for the high and low box. This is the low box, high box, four speeds in the high box, four in the low box. It is in very good shape. Now, the reason I'm making this tape is because someone last week asked me about a Harrison that he had been offered for sale. The person who was selling it was emigrating and it was a lathe like this. Well, I told him to look out for the ways, cross slide, compound slide and the locking screws and he said they were in pretty good nick. I told him to go ahead and buy it because I have no queries with this lathe. I have done a lot of work on it, a lot of good work, satisfying work and I am pleased with it. The name is Danny Marner, go to my website. Thank you for watching.